Muy buenas a todos y bienvenidos a Narices Rotas, el lugar de encuentro para lo mejor y lo peor del boxeo. Román González es uno de los mejores boxeadores que ha salido de Nicaragua. Con 55 peleas en el cuerpo y títulos mundiales en cuatro categorías diferentes, es casi un hecho que Chocolatito ingresará al Salón de la Fama en el futuro. Su estilo es ofensivo pero al mismo tiempo muy inteligente y calculador. En este video compilé 5 peleas que a mi juicio son las mejores en la carrera de Román. Por ahora. Vamos al puesto número 5. González vs Viloria En la tercera defensa de su título mundial CMB de peso mosca, Chocolatito brindó un excelso despliegue técnico, que culminó con un knockout para derrotar al siempre peligroso Brian Viloria. Chocolatito left I seem to be closed a little bit as well. This is a good fight. Very good fight. Harold Letterman scores two. That's going to be called a knockdown on a an amazingly short right hand inside by Chocolatito. Knocked down as an amateur or a pro. And you might not have expected the first one to look like that, but there it is. Chocolatito seems to me to be excellent at cutting off the ring. And Valoria said, step one is, you better be in the best shape of your life. In fact, you better be... Valoria tries to answer in time. Chocolatito. Valoria two, three, got four, Before Valoria could throw back. One, two, oh, three, four, right five, six, bad. seven, seven punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That right hand has thunder on it. Well, Valoria's face is starting to break up. Yeah. Under all of yeah. these punches. Oh, goodness. That right I hand think Valoria, right that was his yeah. last stand. That's who are. Yeah. And now Benji Estevez is going to stop it. And Chuck Latito has the TKO. That's a really good stop. 4. González versus Cuadras. Un año después del combate con Viloria, Román subió a peso Super Mosca para enfrentar al explosivo pugil mexicano Carlos Cuadras. Esta pelea fue acción pura de principio a fin. Into every other opponent he's fought. That is a guy who already, as much as good work as he's doing, seems to be. Chocolatito landing the hardest shots, putting under pressure, doing more damage. Effective. The door anytime he gets ready, just like that. The Parsons is fighting back. Yes, he is. And Chocolatito needs to defend himself a little better because of. You are going to oh, hit some, high. and he got hit just then. Good uppercut. This is not something else that Roman Gonzalez is really good at, Roy. He seems the ability of Cuadras to withstand that early barrage by Chocolatito where it looked like he was just being outclassed, not give up on himself, and put himself in a position now to be in a very competitive fight, although he's... Oh, good shot. Yes. Cuadras with a, a three, four good right hands. Mixed in a left there too, Chocolatito. Chocolatito seemed to have Good hook, Roy. Yeah, seemed to have blow from the right ear. A good hook. Oh, good, good right hand. Right. From in the old days, the championship rounds were 13, 14, and 15. Now they're 10, 11, and 12. So we're in the championship rounds. And the question is, how will Cuadras respond in the past? His punch out win fighter in history has done. Big left hook. En un fallo polémico, Chocolatito se llevó la pelea por decisión unánime. 3. 
González vs Estrada 1 En 2012 Román sostuvo la primera pelea contra uno de los rivales más difíciles de su carrera, Juan Francisco El Gallo Estrada. Observen cómo el nicaragüense defendió su cinturón AMB de peso mini mosca, frente a un gallo que dio lo mejor de sí. González se llevó la pelea por decisión unánime. 2. González vs Estrada 2 Casi una década más tarde, Chocolatito y el Gallo se volvieron a encontrar, esta vez para unificar los cinturones AMB y CMB de peso Super Mosca. La secuela acabó siendo mejor que el encuentro original. Estrada se llevó la pelea en un fallo polémico por decisión dividida. 1. González vs. Rumbisay En 2017 Román González enfrentó al entonces desconocido Sri Saketsu Rumbisay. Se sabía que el tailandés pegaba duro, pero nadie esperaba ver un peleón como el que ambos boxeadores brindaron. Observen. Observen. 
Six. A body shot that knocks him completely off balance. Eight. Second time okay. in his career okay. that Gonzalez has found out tonight what he can take though, Max, because Chacotito's gonna give him all he got. Oh, right. he's <laughs> already is fighting with a new sense of urgency, Chocolatito. Yeah, of course he is. He's never backed down from nothing, and he ain't about to start now. Oh, oh you will have to get yeah, but his punches are not quite as devastating as Romans are, trust me. Oh, good body shot from Soren Visai, right hand to the body. This is an outside the right eye of Chocolatito. Good body shot. There you go. Left hook to the body. Great that body shot. That hurt Visa. bad. Hurt that hurt bad. bad. Yes. Good right hand upstairs. Yeah, yes. Another left to the body. Soren Visai wobbling and giving ground. Now Chocolatito there. Straight right hand. Left hook up that stairs. Another to the body. Tremendous rally as Gonzalez tries to knock his man. His neck is limber. He rides the punch back. The best thing about Chalatito is that his best defense is his offense. If you can back him up, you can beat him, but ain't many people that can sustain the high octane output that it takes to back Chalatito up. Say that left up a bit there is. And, and I'm sure exacerbated by punches, but opened by headbutts. What a combination. Huge shots by Chocolatito. Yes. Bringing all the energy can possibly bring. Big right hand, another right hand. What a and chin on Soren Visay. Another left hook. Crowd is on its feet as Chocolatito is racing Soren Visay with hard shots in the closing minute of the fight. Chocolatito, you want to see what, what? Great body shot by Chocolatito. Back Soren Visay up into the corner again. Soren Visay coming back with a flurry of his own. Down the stretch they go. Unbelievable. El resultado fue lo único malo de esta pelea. En mi opinión, Chocolatito ganó 8 rounds a 4, pero los jueces simplemente no estuvieron a la altura y vieron ganar a Ron Bisay por decisión mayoritaria. Por favor comenten cuál es su pelea favorita de Román y si les gustaría ver las mejores peleas de su archirrival boxístico, Juan Francisco Estrada. Si les gustó el video no duden en darle like y compartirlo. Suscríbanse para las últimas noticias, opiniones y predicciones del deporte de los puños. Hasta la próxima.